Get ready for a whole new way to cook with the KitchenAid Multi-Cooker. Step-by-step cooking modes. With the touch of the arrow keys, the Multi-Cooker guides you through the easy steps to create risotto, soups and stews, rice, and yogurt. Using the risotto cooking mode, make a delicious asparagus parmesan risotto in three simple steps. Saute, simmer, and keep warm. Begin by pressing the right arrow key to risotto mode, then press Start, Enter. The multi-cooker will preheat to saute. To set your desired cook time, press Start, Enter, and begin countdown. Attach the optional stir tower, set on low speed, and add three tablespoons of butter to melt on risotto, step one. Add chopped onion. Cook until soft and then add rice and wine, cooking until absorbed. When sauteing is done, press the right arrow key for risotto, step two, and the multi-cooker will cool to simmer mode. Next, add half cup broth with the stir tower still on low speed and stir until it is absorbed. Continue adding one cup of broth at a time, stirring after each addition until the broth is absorbed. Add asparagus and peas, then cover and simmer until the asparagus is tender. When complete, press the right arrow for keep warm mode. Remove the stir tower. Add a tablespoon of butter, a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, season with salt and pepper, and let it stand for about 10 minutes. It's that simple. Using the soup cooking mode, make an Italian wedding soup in four simple steps. Saute, boil, simmer, and keep warm. First, press the right arrow key and scroll to the soup mode and press start, enter. Add olive oil as the multi-cooker preheats to saute, heating the oil for soup, step one. Add a pound of sausage, seasonings, half cup each of chopped onion and carrots, and cook breaking up the sausage with a wooden spoon, stirring frequently. Next, press the right button for soup step two. Add broth and water, then cover, bringing it to a boil as the multi-cooker cools to boil mode. You can also use the temperature button to adjust the heat of your cooking mode. Once boiled, press the right button for soup step three, and the multi-cooker will cool to simmer. Add chopped kale and a cup of ditalini pasta. Cover and cook for 10 minutes or until the pasta is tender. Finally, press the right button for soup step four to keep warm. Sprinkle soup with cheese and it's ready to serve. Or the multi-cooker will keep your soup warm for up to 24 hours. Make a medium or long grain white or brown rice using the KitchenAid multi-cooker rice cooking mode. Begin by rinsing your dry rice to reduce the risk of boil overs, then pour your rice and water into the multi-cooker. The default setting for rice uses one cup of rice to two cups of water. Press the right arrow key and scroll to the rice mode. Press the left arrow key for white rice and the right arrow key for brown rice. Then press start, enter. To ensure uniform cooking of rice, it should remain flat on the bottom of the multi-cooker to absorb the moisture and cook thoroughly. Then rotate the lid to cover the pouring opening. The rice will cook, and when complete, the multi-cooker automatically transitions to keep warm mode. White or brown rice, simple to make and easy to serve. Make delicious homemade yogurt using the KitchenAid multi-cooker step-by-step yogurt cooking mode. When using the yogurt's mode default setting, use four cups of milk and a half of a cup of plain yogurt. First, add milk to the multi-cooker, Press the right arrow key and scroll to the yogurt mode. Then press start, select. This is a low temperature setting and should only be used to prepare yogurt. The multi-cooker will preheat to simmer. If setting a cooking time, set the timer, press start, enter to begin the timer countdown, allowing 10 to 12 minutes for heating time before adding yogurt or yogurt culture. If your recipe calls for more than four cups of milk, Adjust time accordingly and use a kitchen thermometer to ensure milk maintains a temperature between 185 degrees and 195 degrees Fahrenheit before moving on to step two. Once simmering is complete, press the right arrow key to continue to the culture mode. The multi-cooker will begin cooling down. Whisk half cup of warm milk with half cup of plain yogurt in a small bowl and add it to the multi-cooker. Cover and let it rest for eight hours. Yes, it's that simple. 
the multi-cooker. From KitchenAid, 